Um, thank you for this uh, opportunity, first of all. Uh, I'm Nerusha Dias, uh, and I'm a second year medical student at Gomea State Medical University. Um, talking about REC, um, first of all, I have to make this an opportunity to thank uh, Dr. Lasantha, um, Dakshi uh, Aki, and uh, Ajit Ankar. They've always been with us uh, throughout this journey, uh, especially as a first year medical student. Uh, last year was very hard for us because uh, we were getting used to everything in the country, uh, the new language uh, and uh, everything. It was very hard for us, first of all. And we were just seen to live without our parents and uh, like as being, I mean, we were always pampered by our parents. So it was very hard for us in the beginning. But only because of uh, REC campus and uh, REC staff members that we um, achieved uh, so many things throughout just one year. Um, and yeah, so uh, first of all, uh, if I talk about my experience with REC, uh, I, I did go, go to uh, many other agencies uh, beforehand and uh, comparing the um, prices, REC is definitely the cheapest uh, out of all uh, other agencies. Um, like uh, Ruminta said before, this is, not a, uh, this is not a commercial, this is not an advertisement about REC. Uh, REC is honestly there for us. REC has always been there for us uh, since day one. Um, <clears throat> for a very big example is um, uh, recently, um, our tickets got cancelled. So we are in Sri Lanka right now and we are uh, going back to Belarus and our tickets got cancelled um, and uh, we had to change our path from, uh, we had to change our route. Uh, so uh, now we have to go to uh, Russia instead of uh, Belarus straight away. So uh, we have to uh, get transit visa in Russia and uh, the, even though we are second year students, I mean, uh, Red Campus helped us a lot with our uh, documentation and uh, getting this uh, transit visa. Um, because we only had to uh, take our documents in and they didn't charge us anything. Uh, we went there and we got uh, uh, the visa done within just a few weeks. Uh, and then uh, also when I went there to Belarus, I have to talk about Bauntaya and uh, he was the president back then. Uh, he graduated recently. Uh, he helped us a lot with everything. He helped us with uh, starting from buying a SIM to making all these uh, cards, if you get these discount cards in uh, Belarus. So he helped us a lot with everything. He took us everywhere. He showed us this place, that place, and all that. And he helped us a lot with everything. Uh, so I, I, I'm very thankful to Bhavan Taya. And uh, now President uh, Dami Duaya, he's also a very nice person. He's also helping us a lot. Uh, for example, uh, we have an issue with the baggage, luggage is this time. And uh, he is he is constantly informing us and reminding us, uh, you know, uh, this is how you should do it and all that, this many baggages, this many kilos and all that. So he's also helping us out a lot. Um, and then uh, uh, again, uh, Red Campus also helped us uh, with this one situation where we didn't like our hostel rooms. And uh, I called Dakshi Akka and uh, she settled it for me within seconds. Um, then talking about the university, Gomera State Medical University, it's a very uh, calm and quiet place. Gomel is a very calm and quiet place. It's a beautiful place. It's very, it's filled with green uh, and it's an amazing place. Uh, and safety wise, uh, if I talk about safety, uh, for a girl, it's the best place. I think if you, if you're studying abroad, um, Gomel is like very safe. There are no, even at 11 o'clock at night. So our, our curfew, hostel curfew is at 11 o'clock. So when we uh, go back to our hostel at 11 o'clock or like 10.30, um, there's nobody on the road. There's nobody to insult you or to, you know, 
you know, the Sri Lankan chukchus and all that. There's none of those in Belarus. There's nobody to uh, hurt you. So it's a very nice and calm and quiet place. And then uh, talking about uh, our dean's office, my God, uh, they are very friendly. And uh, we had the we get the opportunity not like in not like in Sri Lankan universities where you have to like go behind the dean and you know uh, beg for attention. No, that's that's not how it is. They, I mean, like our dean and rector, vice dean, they all love us so much. So um, they love us so much, and they are always with us. And uh, no matter what the situation is, we just have to go there and talk to them. They're always available for us. So that's a very important thing about uh, our university. Uh, I think it's about the Belarusian people and there's least amount of racism. I know a lot of people are scared. I was scared about racism. So there's least amount of racism in uh, Belarus. Uh, they're very friendly and uh, very helpful. Uh, the teachers love us. They, are, they help us a lot. They are, uh, they're always there for us. Like, whether it's an academical problem or a personal problem, they're always there for us and they help us a lot with that. Um, and then seniors are help, uh, seniors are very helpful and they're always there for us. Uh, yeah, they're always there for us and uh, they teach us a lot. Like um, so seniors are the ones who took us to uh, different, different, uh, grocery stores and uh, they helped us uh, you know buy because initially we didn't know the value of money there and uh, we had uh, so many problems with uh, handling cash so they're the ones who said you know don't waste your money this is how much it values and all that they were the ones who taught us all of that um so yeah and uh, like i said before for a girl uh, i know like uh, even my parents, the biggest concern was uh, if it's a safe country, if it's a safe place. Uh, I would say there's least amount of nightlife in uh, Belarus. Uh, children don't really misbehave in Belarus because uh, uh, it's a very uh, nice country. It's it's not like um, it's not like a very developed and very. Um, um, it's not a very westernized country to begin with. It's a very, um, trad like they, they have a lot of tradition just like us. So uh, they follow their, um, you know, they have rules and regulations. They respect women so much. They respect women so much. Um, like even in a bus, you can't, you can like, it's a free place for women. It's like, uh, it, that's the greatest feeling. Like, when I came back to Sri Lanka for my vacation, I, I mean, I, it hit me really hard because um, it's such a change for me that um, it's such a big change for me that uh, when I came back here, I mean, the attention and all in Belarus, nobody cares about you. You can walk like freely and uh, freely on roads and you don't have to be scared of anything really. Um, and then uh, again about education, you can't uh, miss any classes. You can't sit for any exams if you miss classes. Uh, you can't sit for your final exams. Um, and uh, so if you miss classes, you have to take permission slip from the dean's office. And it's a huge procedure. Uh, sometimes if it's like, uh, sometimes you'll have to pay for extra classes. So, uh, we have to cover up, cover the class up uh, to uh, uh, to sit for our exams, final exams. So uh, none of us really like missing classes. Um, and then, uh, oh, and also uh, uh, talking about Belarusian people, they're uh, they're friendly. They're very friendly. Uh, we have all uh, so as a first like I just finished my first year and I start I just started my second year. We have a lot of Belarusian friends. Uh, they help. They all. Um, one of the Belarusian friends even helped one of my friends to um, uh, buy an apartment and all that. They're so friendly and they're so helpful. Like they're so helpful. Um, after that, um, I would like to say again about the Red Campus. Uh, <laughs> The REC campus is definitely a family 
and also like uh, the previous speaker said um they don't just help rec students they help students from uh, other uh, agencies as well like like i said the russian transit visa problem we had uh, we had a couple of friends from other agencies as well and uh, the rec campus without any charges helped out these students as well to uh, uh, to uh, to get their uh, transit visa from russia so yeah ah, and also um before we went to belarus we had uh, russian and anatomy classes done the russian class was actually very helpful because uh, here the rough switches are very important uh, like you have to you have to be polite to them for them to be nice to us so uh, the russian class is very helpful to us uh, and uh, I did have a good A level result, but uh, because I wanted to go abroad soon, I did a foundation there. Unlike in other university, uh, sorry, unlike in other agencies, um, when we uh, um, they did um, allow us to do a foundation, but this foundation was um, directly done by the university, and uh, we had biology, chemist, uh, biology, chemistry, and Russian. our russian teacher was our first year russian like a foundation russian teacher was our first year russian teacher as well so and uh, our chemistry teacher is uh, a, the foundation chemistry teacher is uh, a lecturer and uh, and she is a scientist so um, that's the important thing about thing about rec they don't just uh, you know waste your money so even the foundation is a valid and like um it was a helpful foundation for us like unlike other agencies i've been to other agencies and i've done, i've gone through these things so that's what i'm telling you um so i did do a foundation in a separate uh, agency where, like i was talking about it and then uh, they said that they'll be doing it here in sri lanka with local staff members uh, i'm not saying anything bad about it but like if you are going to a university and you're paying so much you expect a certain amount of uh, quality in the program so that quality is definitely provided by rec um the help um, the help is uh, immense like they help us a lot with everything and they are just one call away like uh, everyone here said they are just one call away Uh, you can call them sometimes. Nine thirty there is like twelve o'clock here, twelve thirty one here. But uh, we call them, and Dakshya answers the phone, and she and she solves our problems almost instantly. The that day or the next day. So uh, that's very important to us because we are far away from our families, and um, to be honest, I didn't feel homesick at all. because there were so many functions uh, from the day uh, from the day we started uni till the end of uh, till, till the end of first year we had so many functions to participate and like even even from in sri lanka right now i just got an, uh, i just got uh, some information that there'll be another event uh, in september so it's like that it's a it's a very fun place to be there are so many extracurricular activities it's not just studies and also even studies they um, they motivate you a lot in gomel uh, like if you uh, if you participate in the science affairs and science association stuff you can uh, actually get uh, not scholarships but like uh, you can get uh, free cards free escape cards to <laughs> exams and all that uh, they were, like and extra extra marks um, extra credit for it so that's um, again very important for, uh, that's again a very important point about gomel uh, teachers love you they are always with you um yeah uh, i think that's it thank you